Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to switch activities. Right now, we have in my last tutorial. I show you how to react on um, on a button when you click on it, and it looked like this. You had a text view and a button, and when you click on the button, it gave out the toast. This this toast here. And now you want to go further. You want to switch the activity, which means you want to switch this screen to the next screen when we click on this button. So we're going to go down here to our method card on create and do some stuff here. But before we do that, we have to create a new class. So let's create a new class. We call this um, second, nope. Let's call this other activity, activity and it let's type here activity then control plus space and choose um this one android.app click finish that's all for now and here you can try it and type in on create and set the content view content view to our dot layout dot other activity other underscore act okay that's all for now i'm going to copy this one and go um he does not recognize oh he wants to import r okay then let's import this one because this is our project here so let's import r um here it's imported okay but he does not recognize this XML file, this layout file, because we haven't created this one yet. So we're going to go down to our resource folder to layout and create a layout, a new layout file by clicking on this symbol here to create a new Android XML file. And type in or paste in other act that XML. And here it is. I don't like the way it looks like, so I'm going to change it here to material design looks better looks much better i think okay now let's um drag a text view inside here and change the text to um hello um the other activity and save it okay let's check if he if it looks good hello yeah okay it looks good okay now let's go to our other activity class and click on save and the arrow must go away so you can see it went away okay now we're going back to our main activity class and um if you want to switch activities you need something called intent so we're going to write here intent android content intent no let's call it my intent equals to new intent and we need this one here context comma class the context or package context means from which class or which yeah from which class you want to go to another class and we are going to type in this which means we want to switch from this class here this java class here and the second parameter is um other activity dot class which refers to this class here the other one okay so my call and save this one and you need to call a method called start activity oops sorry start activity and this method start activity um is method from it's a method from our activity class but he isn't recognizing it yeah and this method start activity needs an intent so we are going to give it the intent we created earlier which is which is my intent so type in my intent and save it 
and that's all if you run this project you see that you can switch intents no you see that you cannot switch intents but let's try it out it will give out an error yep an error and the reason why we get this error is because we have to go to our android manifest xml and we need to create an activity here but we're going to do it another way because if you make a mistake by creating an activity here your app will crash again so we're going to go to application down here and then scroll down and click add activity is what we want then go down here and click browse and choose other activity if your other activity is not popping up then just type it inside here and you will see it very fast other activity then don't forget to save okay you can close it now and if you run it again launching button project 100 percent you can see that you can switch to the other activity now and that's all um let's delete this toast here okay and what i want to show you is that you can give you can pass in a string from this activity here to the other activity you can pass in many information but um, we're going to pass in a string to do this you have to say that my intent dot put extra and we want this one no nope. You can use this one but we want um, this one you want to put in a string name and a string value the string name is um, it's a key which you need later I'll, I'll show you what this key is so just type in for the meantime secret no secret key and the value is which kind of information you want to give to the another activity and we want to give um, let's create a new string here global string and call it string information for activity 2 and say this information for activity 2 equals hey I'm coming from activity 1 okay that's all so our value is going to be the string I mean you can also type in here something any any string you want but I'm just going to do this this way so that maybe you can understand it better okay we're going back to our other activity class and here we're going to say um, when the activity is created it gets it, it gets this bundle parameter or it has this bundle parameter so we're going to refer to it we're going to create a new bundle and say bundle um, my bundle oops my bundle and say um, get intent because we want to get the intent from the other class and say it get extras this here will get any information you passed to you pass through this intent but right now for this um, tutorial we just passed we just passing this string here hey I'm coming from activity one so you're going to say string message equals to my bundle dot get um, get string we need this one no we need this one sorry get string we want to get a string from our um, bundle so my bundle dot get string and as you can see here it required a string key and the string key is what I was talking about earlier it is this one here the first parameter here so if you don't want to make a mistake you can copy it right here and paste in here your string key so with this key he can he's this with this key this um activity is um allowed to get the information which was passed through the intent okay 
So let's make it toast. Toast this um, message. Toast duration length short. Don't forget to show your toast like always. Show and it should it should make a toast and show the message we passed through from the other activity this message here so let's run this and check if it works launching project launching project launching button project okay click and here's the toast hey i'm coming from activity one that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching and Please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me. Feel free to ask anything you want. I will get back to you if I have enough time and try to help you out. Okay, that's all.